Okay, welcome back everyone to an episode of, you know what it is, Austria! Where guys, we fought one of the worst wars I've ever fought in my entire life. The war was bad from the start, I knew what was going to happen, and yet I could not stop it. And now we got an even worse war coming after us, where all the rebels are now going to start popping up in our country because we've, we've been taxing our people for so long. Which, it, the sad part is that I'm probably going to have to tax them even more because we just don't... We're in such a big hole right now, it's not even funny. To, to get out of the hole we are in, it's probably going to take me a lot. And by the way, I'm going to say this now for all the people that usually... I know usually I say that if rebels conquer my country, my regime's done. For this game, I'm actually not going to keep that rule to apply. Because, honestly... I don't think I'd be able to play this game for very long if I was to keep that because this game is so hardcore in terms of its rebels. It's not even funny. How did you guys, Egypt, how did you lose against the Ottomans? What? Yeah. Because as it stands, I'm not going to be able to fight against. Because as it stands, uh, the rebels in this game are insanely powerful and insanely, like, good. So there's, I don't think I'll be able to do this, like, naturally, so... Yeah, just, if Rebels do take over my country, I don't want them to, but if they do, I'm not ending the game. Syria just formed, everyone. That is the tiniest Syria I've ever seen. Wow. Okay. You guys can see, just, how about you guys just hunt, go make sure the capital is okay, and then go start hunting down Rebels. Even though, like, our entire country is kind of broken up right now. As noble of an effort that is. Oh no. Okay, I'm calling you in, Tuscany. <laughs> You're coming in on both my wars. Alright. Yeah. This is what I was kind of worried about was this happening. And sadly, I have nothing. I have no army to fight him. Um, my, my vassals should be able to deal with all of that. But with the Hungarian question, I... Uh... Hmm. Is that right? Uh, yeah. My vassals should be able to take care of Sardinia. I don't think Sardinia is going to be a hard person to kill. I just don't think we're going to be able to beat Hungary. Hungary is, at this point, way too powerful for me. No. Hang on. By the way, we're probably going to keep this war going for as long as possible until all my rebels are dead. Because I'm going to need that. Um, now is about the time where I'm just going to build a massive amount of infantry. Because we have no choice at this point. I don't, I don't want to lose Hungary, but I'm pretty sure I am going to lose them. I don't think I can, I don't think I can keep them together anymore. We, we're bas we basically, they hit us right where they needed to. Right at the exact time when I wasn't quite strong enough to fight them. So... We're just going to see how this war plays out. Um, hopefully my other friends will not will not kill themselves and make sure that Sardinia dies. If they actually win this, I will be so mad. Because I can't really fight Sardinia right now. I have so much going on in my own internal borders. It's not even funny. Alright. Let's go see how good is... This This has got to not be good. Okay, this is just all troops. This is a good thing. This is just all troops and man conscription, so 
That should not be a good enough army to fight against us. We should be able to kill tons and tons of them before they ever get a shot off on us. What? No, it should not be turning times yet. We have cannons. We have beeping cannons here. They have infantry. Ah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, return to the status quo. Um. Okay. I'm going to need some help from you guys. Because I'm not going to be able to fight this. It's, it's, yeah. Please come in. Please, please for the love of Bavaria, please come in. Thank you. Okay, Bavaria's in. That's good. Let's get Wuttenberg in this. I'm just going to call on everyone I can to this war. Because I have absolutely... Um, we're basically pulling out all the stops here. We can't... I'm not going to let Hungary free itself. If Hungary frees itself, we're doomed. We're never going to be able to get um, in this. You guys. You guys are coming into my war. I'm going to be very mad. Yeah, come in. You guys are also my allies. So you guys come in. That way, that way make sure we have a good land bridge right here. And Cardinal is Spain. We're not exactly allies, but we really should be. So let's no insufficient relations. Really? You guys are under my sphere. I'm just going to tell you that now. So you should be listening to me. There we go. So with that up, that should give us a lot better um, people. We might actually be, we will probably be able to pull this out, but dang. This was the perfect time, that's all I'm going to say. They, they attacked, like, at the exact good time to attack. Like, kudos kudos to the AI for realizing how weak I was. Oh, there you go. Cardinal of Spain, now you guys are in. I'm going to call you in. <laughs> I'm calling in everyone. Everyone's coming in on this war. Okay, um... Then from there, I'm also going to go to comments. Get some education up. Ah, oh, man, so... So many high loans. I can't really like not take I can't really not take him either okay um Prussia is obviously dealing with a lot of Jacobson rebels uh the Ottoman Empire just switched governments crush him so obviously the liberals are obviously affecting the Ottomans we must engage our war efforts I think I think Egypt just freed itself that is awesome <laughs> so Egypt is now free so when we have an opportunity Probably not now, but when we have an opportunity, we're going to go and go take our little Panama Canal region. And there we go. Yep. Hey, friends. You want to be buddies? Nope, they don't want to be buddies. Well, too bad for you, because I hate you guys for not joining in the war. You're probably the main reason why we lost the war. Like, friends, you guys are on my hit list now. If I, if I recover from this, and I will, don't get me wrong, I'll recover from this. It's just going to take me a little bit. I'm going to go after you, France. Like, I'm going to make sure you guys are split up. I'm going to go with I'm gonna go with the new Europa plan where I split you guys up. Seriously. <sighs> Although right now, we're going to have to lick our wounds by a lot. Look at this. <laughs> They're losing to my rebels. Oh, that's funny. Like, that's just hilarious. They're losing to my rebels. Oh. I, I I find that so funny and yet so sad at the same time. Uh, oh my goodness, that... Wow. Uh, that is a lot of German nationalism right there. I can't really help... If Saxony wants to get away from me, I can't really help that. Um, yeah. There's not really much I can really do about that. All we can do is just watch as my empire slowly falls into ultra liberal hands. Even though like 40% of my country is reaction. Wow. That actually is a very big turnout. 40% of my country is reactionary. So. Eh, it won't be that bad once the reactionaries take power. It's just going to be annoying as heck. <laughs> okay, but we have to just wait a second. Just. How much longer do we have to wait till these guys take over? Um. Push the liberals. The fighting simply has to stop. I think that's the cure. Mhm. Mm now let's just continue this war, though. The new liberal regime. Okay, there we go. So we finally took 
the liberals finally took power um that means i think we basically reset no it did not reset anything i just think now we can abolish serfdom ah that's actually that's actually a very good thing what no i didn't ah we'll get to restore academia too federalists are now completely in power the hmm government is now in power we have weighted universal two-year manuscript ah. Basically, they were moving towards where I wanted to move towards, so I guess it's not too big of a deal that they did any of this. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not... This is the one time you guys are ever going to see me, like, say, I'm not going to take get out of power because of Rebels, because the Rebels in this game way too difficult to deal with. So, there we go. Um, Now that the Rebels are gone, though, that should start to see liberal agitation move down a lot. Because now we're definitely a government that supports their ideals, so that's a good thing. That's a really good thing. The bad part is, is that we still haven't won against Hungary yet, and Hungary's really starting to annoy me. Uh, but eventually, though, with 139 manpower, we will triumph. We will prevail, as they always say. Ah, oh, but gosh dang, we have not caught a break for like years. Uh, it's been like constant war for like years. Let's see, how's this province doing? It's doing, strangely enough, the most peaceful part of my empire right now is my colonies. Like, this is the only peaceful part about my entire empire. That is so, like, saddening, it's not even funny. Uh, okay. Um, it seems like the Wattenbergs have just destroyed some of their own men. Or, I mean, just destroyed some of the, the Hungarian men. We have basically two big stacks to deal with at this point. Oh my goodness, you guys are also being taken over by Republicans. Oh, wow. Let's see, how much rebels are actually accumulating in our, fa in our country? A lot. The Federalists and the Reactionaries are definitely not... They're definitely not kind to the world. Also, Russia, would you like an alliance? Because they're basically buddies. And... Yeah, give me some prestige. They would not accept. Why? Probably because of something stupid. Too many alliances. Base reluctance. Yeah, something stupid. Um, let's see. But hey, our army's actually growing again. Huzzah! We got our army back. All right, let's get this back over here. All right. Seems that Tuscanese are destroying that. There's only two big armies left. I'm pretty sure I'm now big enough to go handle one of them. So let's go kill this army. Let's go kill this army right here. Yeah, there we go. We destroyed the Hungarians. Hungarians, major army. They only have one other big army. Oh, shoot! No! Move, troops, move! Oh, Those people died without real cause. And then these people are going to die because I want them to die. Okay. Um, looks like we can actually spear someone right now. I think it should be the uh, Brazilians, if I remember correctly, right? Right? Yeah! I was so correct. So, yeah, they're getting really close to being in completely friendly zones. So that means our sphere of influence has now moved almost to South, South America. And we do have control over Cardinalist Spain right now, so that's really good, too. But we also are building lots of men. Oh, yeah, this is I built, like, 17 men just to, like, get this all like financial financially liable so we didn't lose okay get get more men <laughs> man this is like this like broke up all the great powers like this war right here this is gonna break up everyone okay that's gonna that's gonna be able to i think those what team bugs are gonna be able to crush them just in case i'm gonna move my army in just so we can have to make sure these guys die i'm gonna go move my troops in right here and it looks like we finally got the situation underneath our control. And there we go. We just crushed their army. And yeah, we got we got Hungarians rebellion underneath our control. And uh, we'll probably be able to wrap it up this episode too. That's really nice. Okay, let's get that right here. Let's go down here. And let's go like destroy this army down here. And then. After this, I think I'm just going to take like a to like six years of just non-war, non-peace, non-anything. I'm just going to recover my economy, man. I should, I probably most of my factories are shut down right now. Or a good proportion of them are not making good money. 
Uh, Sardinia Piedmont just had a revolutionary. That's not... That's okay, I guess. I don't really care about them. So, I mean, they're going to be annoying from time to time to try to fight me. But they're not really that important. All right. Let's see. We got some more education. We need to start moving up a little bit in our mechanization. So let's start getting some mechanization production and clean coal. And in terms of reforms, uh, let's go to Universal so that they don't yell at me. <laughs> okay. And yeah, now everyone can vote. So everyone go vote. Because we have to make sure that we keep our empire together with voting laws and votes. Because obviously our empire is not fractured. And with that, I think that was the last army that they had. So, Hungary has been officially neutralized. And we can finally stop worrying about it. Thank goodness. Well, actually, there's still one more army up there. But it's so tiny, it's not even worth our time. Alright. Um, <laughs> they're finally subdued. They're finally subdued. Okay, our population right now is bad <laughs> to say the least it's bad um i think i lost virginia at some point i wasn't even paying attention to them i don't even remember when i lost them but i did and yeah they're probably gonna be fought over by almost everyone and yeah okay well they're having rebel problems <laughs> now they're having rebel problems wow wow now they're having rebel problems so they can't deal with it Oh man, it all happened because of that stupid war. Oh man, if that war had not been fought, we probably would all be in pretty good positions right by now. Okay, and then, okay, you about done with the war, uh, hungry? Like seriously, you guys are dead, dying. They would not accept this. We still have to get a lot more war score. Okay, well, it's gonna take us a little bit, but we're going to. We're going to get that war score. Yes, we are. Like I said, I'm not. I'm pretty shooken up right now. I, I do admit that, right? I am pretty shooken up. My empire is in <laughs> disarray, to say the least. But we're not going to let our empire fall apart. That was the whole reason why we made the plan of we're strong. Oh my goodness! Transvanian nationalist. There's people in Tra Transvania who want to free yourself. Uh, we have to finish this war quickly then, because we don't want the Transvanians to succeed. No, we do not. <laughs> oh my goodness, but they're moving. These Transvanians? Yeah. The Transvanians really... There! Oh, thank goodness! Okay, the episodes... We're not done with the episode yet, but we're going to do a whistle tour. Oh man, after all that, we're going to do a whistle tour. And we're just going to like... Oh man, I don't even know what we're going to do. Uh, we're just going to sit here and look at the peace. Uh, open up whatever factories have closed. Just sit here and let the peace roll into us. Uh, let us... Yeah, I like that. Establish that. Yeah, just let the peace roll all into us. Let's not like deal with anything. Let our army regroup. Destroy any units that are dead. Uh, a splendid idea. We won, guys. The final battles. We finally won. Um, yeah, that was that was a war. That was like three wars of constant destruction, just right there, right there, man. Oh my goodness. Whew. Oh man. Uh. Apparently we have some kind of add to sphere causes Belai against the Prussians. Probably they took one of our nations. Uh don't exactly care right now. I'm just glad to be like at peace. And with our with our like maintenance going so high right now, I think we should probably like you know help out ourselves. Let's get about fifty right there. Um, actually, we're just going to do high taxes and high everything for like the first couple of years. Once we have enough to repay all of our loans. Which we have how many loans? A good amount. Just repay that. Yeah, just, we're just going to repay back all of our loans first. And then we'll start dealing with trying to build back our economy and stuff. 
which is going to be a fun, fun process to do. Interventionism. And before we end it, today's episode, let me do it. We paid back all the loans, and I want to thank you guys for watching. This was probably like a hard two episodes to watch with me just kind of like being quiet. I'm kind of sorry about that. But I was dealing with a lot, and you guys saw like how much I was dealing with, so hope you guys understand why I wasn't talking too much and why I was kind of like... Yeah, it was just seriously stressful, so. Uh, next episode, though, I should be back to my regular self. And from there, we're gonna start doing our conquest and probably start the first conquest of, um... Oh, no! Even better, we're gonna start our conquest of Romania. Ah, shoot. So, look forward to that, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.